game one, gonna be starting on PS2. Rival going with his patented Zero Suit. He's been playing this character since Smash 4. Yeah. One of the people, one of the few people here in Soga that stuck with that character. Mm -hmm. ICR gonna be okay, going so. over to the Marth. Definitely an, an, an honestly unseen character. Marth just not as good as Lucina, but he's still good. He still is a sword character, and when you get that tipper, it still does kill earlier. Remember when people were arguing in 4 which one was better? Remember I mean, when that was an argument? I mean, t technically, Marth was better, but... Oh, I just mean remember that people actually had to argue about oh, that at, yeah. a, at a point in time? That's crazy. Anyway, so we got Zero Suit. Very different character from Smash 4, but still very good. Very in, good. In a different way now. Yeah. No, Zero Suit recently winning Genesis, you know, for those yeah, who watch the tournament. Rival trying to replicate this, uh, the success that Mars had. Let's see what he's going to be able to do. Yeah, he's kind of just running over ICR right now. I like how patient Rival is being at the uh, ledge. He's going for his ledge hog, or his ledge guarding. No, Rival rocking the 24 tag. Yeah, if, for those of you who don't know, Rival is 24 years old. Anyways, yeah. Uh, getting into it, still 100%. On ICR, not getting much started as going for a percent. He looks for the plasma whip, but he doesn't find it. The Zero gets parried, but it's from so far away, it doesn't even matter. Dare to shield, I kind of like it. Honestly, Mar Marcina's dare is ridiculous. It just has so much range. Oh, that's an air dodge off stage, but Marth does have an amazing recovery. One of the few things they didn't take away from him. Yeah. That episode actually sitting at a kind of a nasty angle. Ooh, fair from the ledge. I like it. Covers the get up option. Or it covers the gap that Rival was trying to punish. All right, still ICR at 150%. Not mu not much more. He's gonna be able to. He's gonna be able to survive. Yeah, but I'm honestly kind of surprised Rival hasn't killed him yet. Well, to be fair, if you're looking at Rival's playstyle, he's playing very reserved. He's always just like going in and just punishing ICR. But at a certain point, something like that can happen. He's actually dead. Oh my god. And that's exactly what he's going to get at. If you keep playing composed and you don't finish your plate, sometimes your opponent's going to take the stock. And he took that first stock with the tipper of air, goes off of the tipper forward air. He should be dead. I thought, yeah, that'll do it. Even with good DI. So, 0-0. Zero, zero. If I'm ICR, I'm still pretty happy about this. Go through he goes for Dancing Blade 1, and Rival immediately just up tilts out of it. Yeah, wants nothing to do with it. Ooh, down down out of shield. Shield. <laughs> and it's negative on hit, so that's a punish for Rival. Puts ICR in a bad position directly above Zero Suit. Oh, gets that tipper down air. And that tipper F slash actually making it safe. I like the rival took the time to charge his up smash on top of the platform instead of dropping down trying to punish it. Mm -hmm. uh, tries to punish Zero Suit down smash, but you know, un not uncharacteristically, but just safe. Oh, that up B, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie to you, I don't think the DI was the greatest I think on he, it. I think he didn't realize rival B reversed it as shield. That would make sense. Rival just looking for these up smashes right now. Yeah, bro, up smash is insane in this game. It did, that is the move that won Genesis. Yeah. But I share still not too far behind in terms of percent. He's slowly letting this get away from him, but I still believe in his ability to get another tipper. All right, the back of forces him out. I yep. see counters way down there. Rival will just go down and do it. Tim, chill. What are you... Yeah, the counter not a, uh, I don't really see any situation in which that counter would have been the idea, unless he was reading that Rival was gonna down air early. But in that, same, no in that same idea, if he thought that Rival would down air early, he would up B like any other person. So it just didn't seem like a characteristically good thing to go for. Rival taking advantage of that. I thought he was gonna drop it, but realizing a lot of lag on that counter, so that dare, easy.
All right, so we're going to be running it to Battlefield now. I feel like this was a good stage for Marth in previous games, but, like, it's also a really good stage for Zero Suit. Yeah, definitely a good stage for both players, so... Rival just kind of away. What's happening? Yeah, Rival's doing whatever he wants and just kind of daring ICR to try to punish it, really. All right, Zero from Ledge. I like the movement here with the little wave land onto the platform. Rival's kind of just all over ICR right now. Rival's definitely dancing on ICR. ICR slowly. Trying to get this damage in, but he's not really seeming to land a hit. That's what I'm liking about Rival's style right now, is that he likes to play elusive. And that's what's so characteristically good about Zero Suit. She can make it so it's hard to hit her. She can decide not to get hit. And especially in this matchup where, like, if you weren't hitting your tippers, Marth is kind of trash. Like, you got to be able to hit those. And with all these pivots and B-reverses Rival's doing, he's basically removing that from the game. Because there's no way ICR is going to be able to space properly for it. Yeah. But even with that, we've still seen ICR get a decent amount of tippers. I mean, even if you think about the stock he took last game, it was rival upbeat past ledge into a nair that was already there and died for it. So rival up an entire stock, actually uh, almost lapping him in percent as I say that. All right, the fair catches I see it. In the air, but he is able to land. Nail one into an up air. I'm not sure about that. Oh, oh my okay. god, what a read. You know what? That, that was nice for my CR. A little empty hop, dashes back, gets the forward smash. Perfectly spaces the tip. Do I will just kill himself? Rival, if you, <laughs> you, looked, if you, you didn't want to play, you could have told us, dog. <laughs> <laughs> he, gave, he gave me a look. He's like, did you guys see I that? definitely looked at him. I was like, bro. Oh, I did too. <laughs> so, uh, ICR. You know, even stocks right now. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at us again. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a <coughs> dude. Rival was a goon on stream. I remember there was one time at a land hero back in Smash Four. He took game one off of Charlie to King and went in Twitch chat, but while Charlie was picking stages and Titan free, and then proceeded to lose the set. I remember that. I think we commentated that. Maybe. But either way, Rival bringing this one back. Making it up just closer than it should be, than it needs to be. All right, double nair goes for the oh goes for the forward air actually instead. I definitely want to rival. If, if rival again. had another stock, the game was over. Well, no, in this game because like downers have a lot more hits done, it, it still would have killed him. No, it definitely. It's just the kind of thing you don't go for on last stock yeah, because right. if you miss, you lose. Like, yeah. it's just not worth it. Yeah, you're right. But, like, if he had another stock, even if he misses, he's fine. He would have done it, I think. So, Rival slowly uh, getting this lead, but like I've said before, Rival not to attend to, like, going really hand to try to finish his plate, and ICR not giving him the biggest reads to end these stocks. So, if I start to get another good tipper here, he could kill. Oh, and that could oh be Oh my it. god! What did I tell you? I just said, rival not finishing his plate. Tipper down air, tipper F smash. This literally didn't need to happen. But, great stuff to ICR. Yeah, I mean, he's playing the cards he was dealt. He played it incredibly well on that game, too. Can he move us into a game number three? Rival counter picking two town and uh, Pokemon Sam, too. Excuse me. been a fun set Three, two, not one, the result I was expecting to see after game one but I see really pulled himself together on game two yeah he's honestly gotten these tapers when he's actually needed them yeah I'm loving his use of down air. you know that's kind of been all we I've been able to say about him is these down airs have been really good the down airs a shield getting the tip with down air to close out game two There from rival catches ICR, pushes him off. Yo, reads the roll in, not gonna get tippered. But that tipper uh, down yeah, that tipper down hill. But unfortunately Zero Suit still does have her flip jump, which is just incredible for recovery. ICR kinda is starting to feel himself a little bit. He's looking a lot more comfortable in this uh, third game. 
I jab one. It, this isn't Smash Four. You don't get that anymore. I miss that. That's why I play Cobb. Even gets the parry, but that downer out of shield goes for the full hop so we can get the tipper. So that's kind of why he didn't get the punish. Oh, that should be a punish. I like that they landed on the top platform so Rival can get a big, a bigger punish. That should oh, be it. Plasma Whip does connect every hit it needs, gets the stop. Dude, I don't know why. I think it's like the trickiest thing in the game when people like tether and then drop it, then recover normally. I think it looks so funny. Yeah. That's another tipper down there, but across stage, not gonna kill yet. Revel at 139. A good, uh, well placed tipper will kill, but ICR kind of struggling to find it. Gets that down oh. tilt. Rival uh, holding down on these up a lot to get some damage in. That is something we've seen from Zero Suit since Smash 4 to get those meaty up -bees to try to challenge the fact that her up -bee can actually be a uh, challenge. Alright, he gets the parry, cross up back here, really nice stuff with Leo Dodge. Gets another back here, don't neutral gap into that. Tipper up -bee, yeah, shoot, still not gonna kill actually. Nair unfortunately sitting the other direction. I'll do, I'll do it. I mean, yeah, he was at like 160. So he's at like 180. I would hope that kills. <laughs> Wouldn't we all? Anyways, ICR still a bit down, but I believe in his ability to fight his way back into this. Rival going to try to close this out, not let him get the chance. All right, and now just a lot of aerials coming out from ICR. He wants to get something started, but Rival crouching under a landing arrow with the down tilt. Throws him off stage. Ooh, oh, catches no. the jump. I love Rival's patience there, and realizing that ICR had to make a decision, and Rival just had full control there. Still 0%. ICR not even getting a hit. Yeah, I, the defensive play from ICR has actually been pretty solid. Like, again, we, we've talked about it the whole time where Rival really can't get these kills. As I say that, I curse him. Yeah, the first roll we've actually seen from ICR. We've seen Rival throw out a lot of down smashes at that neutral get up position. Probably why ICR did the roll, but that time Rival actually going for the uh, down smash at rolling. So, great call out, great conditioning from both players. All right, throw it though, just there you go for the paralyzer. Nice read. Oh, I thought we were gonna see a near uh, flip kick. Oh, oh no, no, he doesn't go for it. Maybe Rival's got a little bit of nerves going in. He knows it's 1-1. Yeah. And like you said, if he misses, then we've seen what ICR can do. Yeah, we've definitely seen. We definitely saw Rival lose that last game because he threw away a stock when he didn't have to. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. Yeah, we're definitely seeing Rival go back to his just extreme defensive turtling style for this third game. So he's leaving himself as little openings as uh, possible. Yeah, it really just is the name of the game for Rival. You'll just hit him once, wait for him to mess up and roll into your tech chase. And then eventually you'll kill him. Goes for the runoff there. Catching ICR, a little bit lagging there. Rival gonna take that one with 